You're watching your local news leader. This is WCIA 3 News at 6. One of my first concerns was anything that might have been explosive, gas in the trucks or those kinds of things, but evidently they got it under control. She's thankful a fire in her town didn't take a turn for the worse, especially when fuel and hydraulic fluid were involved. Good evening, I'm Jessica Coons. And I'm Jennifer Roscoe. Crews were called to a report of explosions and a large fire at a waste management facility. It happened yesterday on Bear Road Indicator, close to Harristown. WCI 3's Amanda Brennan is with us. So Amanda, did this affect garbage pickup? Well, I talked to an official with waste management today. She tells me five garbage trucks were damaged, but other districts were quick to help. And because of that, garbage pickup was not affected throughout the Decatur and Harristown area. Now, I also talked to Harristown's mayor. She says she's never seen anything like this before. It was much larger than I would have anticipated. I didn't realize it was quite as bad as it was. That's Evelyn Deverell, Harristown's mayor. She says she first heard about the fire at Waste Management through Facebook. I'm very glad it wasn't worse than it was. Just before 1 a.m. on Monday morning, the Harristown Fire Protection District received a call about a large fire at that facility in Decatur. When we got there, we had um, about eight, fire, or eight garbage trucks that were involved, uh, fully engulfed. Fire Chief Steve Gambrill was on scene. And several of the hydraulic tanks and fuel tanks had breached, but we had flammable liquids underneath spreading fire to the trucks that were in the line there. He says he's never responded to a fire of this size before, and three other towns helped out. I mean, they were full of fuel. They were all, they were, luckily they had no garbage in them. They were all empty, so we didn't have to worry about uh, garbage inside the trucks. He says that would have been an extra challenge. Macon County Emergency Management was also on scene, collecting hazardous material information for the state. Of the eight trucks involved, Lisa Disbrow with Waste Management says five were destroyed. In a statement, she added, We were able to transfer collection vehicles from our other locations to Decatur, allowing the team to service our customers as scheduled yesterday. Deverell noticed that service right away. I just came back from the post office and I saw three waste management trucks, so it looks like they're running their normal routes. Waste management continued their statement, saying they're thankful for the help. We appreciate the quick response by the local volunteer fire departments that responded to this incident. And for Deverell, she feels the same. Our fire department is excellent. Uh, they always do a great job. Even on rescue calls, they just, they're just there very quickly. I checked in with the state fire marshal. At this time, the fire's cause is still under investigation. No word yet on how much this cost or a replacement timeline. Back to you. All right, Amanda, thank you. Now, Harris Town's fire department is a small volunteer fire department, and the town's mayor says they always want more help. She says they're actively searching for volunteers and knows other towns are in need as well.